<laughs> the whole happy Wednesday. I have an order today. I actually opened it, didn't do anything else with it because I'm like, oh, I just want to smell through this with you. So happy Wednesday. I, I'm going to try to do this without editing it. So we're going to try this. We're going to see if I don't do anything embarrassing because then I will have to edit it. So we're going to try this one time. Um, so my husband's home. My kids are outside playing. It's like 60 degrees. It's beautiful. I'm going to get this done. Uh, my husband's like, what do you have to do? Because I need it. So we do. Sorry, I'm going to look at myself and check my hair a second. I just got done with work. So he's like, he's going to make burgers on the grill. And he, we have potatoes, and I usually slice them. And if they peel them, and then I put chives and cheese and rosemary on some. So he wants that for the grill. And I said, no, no, I have to do this Instagram thing. So I'll be like 15 minutes. Just give me a few minutes. Yeah, it's not, it's not an Instagram thing. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So yes, I'm a liar. I'm a sinner saved by the grace of the Lord. <laughs> um. So. Harper James is who this is from, Mary. So I will say that I did place this order. Um, so if you guys saw my first video that I posted just a couple weeks ago, I want to say, um, I told you that when I order from a new vendor that I am going to do the video and then I'm going to insert a warm review. So I did that. I've had great performance, so I obviously posted that in the video and re with a recommendation. Because, and again, that's my personal um, recommendation because of how it performed for me. Does that mean it's going to perform the same for you? Well, I certainly hope so. But like I've said multiple times, you might see someone will say, "Oh, this didn't perform for me," and then someone else will say it did. So. If people are being honest, then it is truly about their home and how the wax performs, their warmers, their airflow. I will say that in the summer, I struggle a little bit more because the air conditioner, if it, the air conditioner is on and fans are going, I do struggle a lot more and that I know that. So that is okay. And I just have some struggles. In the winter, I've had great performance. Um, so I didn't peek at this. It's, I'm assuming, yep, it's all in here. So I will say that I think she put in, yes, a few, Mary included a few items for be, that are upcoming. So we'll go over those at the end. These I did not pay for, the rest I purchased, okay? With my own money. So in my opinion, um, I think people can say that I'm an honest person. <laughs> if nothing else, I'm an honest person. Um, I think this one is a new one too. So I don't know if there's an invoice in here. Um, but I think I have a pretty good recollection of what I ordered. And I think those are the only ones I did not. So my opinion is mine and it's mine alone. There is no, like Mary and I have like, just she asked to send me wax and that's what I hauled for you in the first video. And I gave my opinion. Now I repurchase these items and we're going to go over those. Um, and I will always give you my honest opinion. So I just want you to know that. I will put pricing on here. I will say that I ordered clams and her, I'll show you these brittles. Very nicely packaged. Um, I forget what she calls these. And I will say, oh, I will say, um, I did one custom in here. So I think that's awesome. All right, so let's go through what I got. This is Beehive or Behave. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. I totally thought it said Beha Beehive. It says Behave. It's honey, almond, vanilla bean. So obviously you know that I love honey scents and it's not very common for vendors to make them. So I was all about trying this. This is very much like a beeswax honey, which is great. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Anytime, like when I go to Lush and they're, they've had soaps or anything that has honey, like as an ingredient, I will buy it. I love honey scents. This is so yummy. Definitely reminds me of a, a, a lotion or something I had. The honey in this is beautiful. If you like honey, this is great. 
Yay, I'm happy about that. I was like, I cannot not order because it has honey. Now you're gonna see a couple in here that you would think I wouldn't order. Oh, I will tell you why I ordered. She had a birthday sale one weekend and it was 25% off. So I was already gonna repurchase, but then she had a sale and I was like, okay, there you go. I'm gonna add more items because I wanted to try more scents. And she has a lot of scents that I can't find elsewhere. This is no fig deal and I love the labels. This is brown sugar fig, maple, and vanilla. Now again, I like fig, which is surprising. And not a lot of vendors do fig scents. Or if you have a favorite, let me know. This is really good. I definitely get the, the fig in this. I'm trying to decide what do I smell next. I think it's maple with the sweetness of the sugar. Vanilla, I think, is sometimes like a blender. I don't get it. Her wax is like soft, but it's not super, super soft. Um, Cause it's not like coming off on my hands, but it definitely, I can feel it soft in my hand. Like it's kind of melting when I touch it. Can you see where I've been touching it? So it is soft enough. This is really beautiful. Wow. If you like fig, you know, it's just a scent, right? We all have different preferences and what we enjoy. I did get quite a few like um, different blends too. I got some aquatic scents is actually what I kind of went in there for. I totally forgot what I ordered. Um, she had to wait. You'll see one of the orders that I got. I was waiting on one of her one of the oils she ordered. So it took a little longer and then she was very, I had communicated to her about a scent and she's like, well, I don't, I have some of it coming, but it, it will delay your order. And I was like, that's fine. I have enough wax. That's totally fine with me. So you'll see that in my bricks or brittles, whatever she calls them. Okay. This is high tide. It's ozone, sea salt, cedar, and citrus. Again, I've been really liking aquatic scents. Oh, this is really good. Again, the ozone is, is very interesting. The sea salt I wanted to try because if you've seen my videos lately, I've been kind of obsessed with those kind of scents. This is really good. The cedar is definitely there. I don't smell a lot of citrus, which is good for me, but definitely different. Wow. This is more kind of like the picture. It's kind of like you're sitting on the rocks and the water, the ocean water is smashing into the rocks next to you, like very much, and you're getting that spray of the sea salt. Not my favorite. I You'll see my favorite because I reordered it. This is sea minerals, sea salt, ozone, eucalyptus, moss. Again, these are stuff I have little going out on a limb for here. Okay, this is green. Oh, this is like clean green. Oh, that's very green. I do get the sea salt. I wonder if it's that moss. It's not bad. It's just like, it almost smells like a clean man. Yeah, it's definitely more of like a masculine green scent. Well, I'm, I guess I'm going to tell you what, this is going to go in my laundry room in my husband's bathroom because I bet you he'll love this. And you'll see, I ordered some floral scents, which I never do, but my husband has made it very clear he loves floral and I do not. So I decided I was going to do some florals in this. So let's do one of the florals, Moonlight Wishes, which is peony, plum, blossom, pink, prosecco, and champagne. This one is, a, is not as floral as the other one I got. This is beautiful. Wow. I smell like a definitely like a champagne drink. I don't know. I've never, I guess, peony and plum. It's very sweet floral. This is good. Wow. I don't love it because again, I ordered these more for my husband's bathroom. I'm happy to have that. I will ask him to smell it and I will, I'll see if I can get him to smell it before I post this video tonight. Um, if I do, I will put his reaction into these floral ones. This is Magnolia Peony. It's Peony, Magnolia, Frasia, Cherry Blossom. Again, this is not my wheelhouse at all. It's definitely floral. <laughs> oh. It's very floral. Yep, it's very, very floral. Um, it smells like, it does smell like the peonies. And I do love peonies. I have a ton of them outside of my front of my house. But definitely I smell that. He 
he's probably gonna just love that one. So like I said, I will ask him to smell those before I post this and we'll see if he does. Okay, so these obviously, this is Fireside Espresso. This is Espresso Maple Vanilla Marshmallow Fireside. Is this? I think this is the one that is a repurchase because um, I really enjoyed this. I still have some left in the bag. I actually ordered this for my son because he commented my 12 um, year old son, he's almost 13. He commented how much he really liked this. So I bought this for him. So this is a repurchase. If you like literally like a smoky, the maple in this is killer. So if you like, like an espresso, espresso, um, oil and you get the marshmallow fireside and that maple when it's warming just develops into this beautiful creamy maple like from the trees um i would encourage you to try that if that those kind of scents are up your wheelhouse and then um if you love those um and you love marshmallow fireside i would try that okay this one is campfire espresso it is espresso chocolate marshmallow graham cracker i'm a little nervous because this has chocolate but I love marshmallow, um, like any smoky scents. Oh, ooh, oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh, I actually kind of like, oh, I like this. You know why? This actually does remind me of a s'more that has been, like I like my marshmallows burnt. Let me know if you like your marshmallows burnt, because I do. Now when they're in a s'more, I do not. My husband makes a beautiful golden marshmallow for me, but if I'm eating it, Personally, I like a burnt marshmallow. This to me smells like a crispy, not quite burnt marshmallow with the chocolate and then the crunchy graham cracker. Espresso, I don't know, maybe a little bit of coffee in there. This is fantabulous. I might have to warm this on this weekend or during spring break. Oh, my spring break is next week. Two more days of school. If this performs and my husband likes it because I think he's taking off next week, I would repurchase more of that in a bag because, or in a brittle or something, because he would love that. Okay, this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, because I've kinda, if you guys have been watching me from the beginning a year ago, I did not like the scent at all. <laughs> this has become acquired for me, that I, an acquired taste to me. This is butter, toffee, chocolate, buttercream, and vanilla cake. I don't like yellow cake, but I do like vanilla cake. So I wanted to try hers and see what I thought. This is beautiful, oh my gosh. Creamy buttercream. Oh, I get like the toffee with a, just a slight, slight hint of, of chocolate, not too much, but I literally get a creamy, creamy buttercream with toffee. Oh, it smells like a cupcake to me. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. Yay. Okay. A few more I got. Okay. Uh, blazing bonfire cedar amber smoke and pine again it's a smoky scent I gotta get it right oh and this is another reason I wanted it look at this hello isn't that beautiful and you can see some of the ombre here oh blazing cedar oh I definitely get cedar and amber it's a little different for me um, if you like amber you will love this I, I think it'll be okay when I warm it. So I'm not going to give like my, I'm just going to tell you on cold, it's not a favorite. And when I warm it, we'll see. Um, if you ever, if you don't watch my, look at how pretty. Okay. I'm just going to say that is killer. If you don't, if you don't know, I post my weekly melting baskets on Sunday. And if I've warmed something, it'll be there. But if you ever like are watching this and you say, Hey, charity, I want to know how was the blazing bonfire then just comment on here and I will absolutely respond to you. It might take me a couple days because of school, work, life, but I will respond to you and I will definitely let you know. I will always let you know my honest opinion because I think we should help each other. So, all right, that is interesting to my nose, okay? To me, not my nose. My nose is not me. It's my brain that is processing it, not my nose. All right, this is Sugar Sugar. Now this, again, is going out of my wheelhouse. It's licorice, patchouli, cotton candy, and vanilla. I just thought, you know what? I found that patchouli sometimes with certain scents can be um, interesting and good. So I thought, okay, let's just try this. This is not something that I would normally like. So I thought, well, okay, 
Let's just try it. Okay, I can definitely smell the patchouli. Okay, well, you know, this just, and the licorice, nah, I don't really get that right now. So if you like patchouli, um, there's only one other patchouli scent that I like, and if you don't know that, you can ask me and I'll tell you, but there's only one other scent that I can tolerate in patchouli. So I will warm this. This is very much patchouli. I get a sweetness from the cotton candy. I, I really, I don't know that I smell licorice. I think it's there, it's just, okay, I do get a little bit of that licorice, but honestly, the patchouli and the sweetness of cotton candy, that, and I always think vanilla is like a blender. I don't know, let me know if you can just literally pick out vanilla, some sense I just can't. So to me, this is, it's not overpowering in the patchouli, but I mean, I can smell it well with a cotton candy. I can't really smell a ton of licorice, which is okay. I just thought this is so different. I wanted to try something different. It was on sale. I was like, okay, I'll try anything that's on sale and just see if I like it. Cause sometimes if you're bold and you try a scent, you may find out you really love it. So I just am all about trying things. Okay. So this is the repurchase. This is Coastal Waters. This is Ozone Jasmine Marine Waters Cedarwood Dark Amber. I told you I love this. I wanted to see how these looked. Um, so I did purchase a larger one. Oh, and I've said this before. It really, really reminds me of Coastal Waters. Um, or Coastal Kale. This is gorgeous. And she does customs. And I, when I placed this order, I didn't have a ton of time. So I am going to look at blending this with other things because I really want to and I totally should have I don't know what I was thinking I really should have because there is one that I want to do so this is just I'm gonna say this is a favorite it like I said I've already warmed this the one I the bag I had it performs beautifully so I'm very happy to have more of that so this is the one I asked her about key lime pie I said hey do you have key lime because I'm really interested in trying it from other vendors and I want to see whose is the best okay um, so this is lime meringue pie crust. So this was the one she had the oil coming and she, so she did say, hey, it would delay your order. How do you feel? And I was like, yes, I'm fine with that. This is, oh, this is good. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. Mmm, let's see if I end up with wax on my nose or my lips. This is really good. I can get that pie crust in this too. Oh, this is good. Okay, so if this performs well, then this would be a great contender. Because if you guys were on um, another vendor's um, Facebook group, they said that they might not be carrying the same oil anymore. So I was like, what? No. This is good. Okay, so I'll keep you posted and let you know. So I will try to warm this. I don't know when. Um, I, I should say too, she has scent notes. I absolutely love the labels. There's no um, pour date. I don't care about that. I, I did get, I've shared, I got some new stickers and I will put when I received it just so I know um, what month and year it is. And that's fine with me. I always let my wax cure two weeks. So I will, I'll try to see if I let this go two weeks, but look at that label. I just think it's just so, I great presentation. Okay, my last one that I got, and this was a custom, is Schultz Evenings. So, uh, my last name <laughs> is um, Sugar Cookie Crackling Birch Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone. So, <laughs> yeah, I love those kind of scents. So, did you, are you surprised? And what it's called is Schultz Evenings. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Oh, I really like the addition of this waffle cone. I think she had four scent, maybe not. Maybe the sugared vanilla waffle cone was... I think, I can't remember if she allows three or four custom scents. Hmm. Wow, this is really good. I really like this because this is really strong on the, um, and I love, oh, it's blue and yellow. Mary, did you do that on purpose? Oh, and sit down syndrome colors. Oh. Hmm. This is really, I like that this is stronger on the sugar cookie and the, the waffle cone. The crackling birch is there, and if you don't love like a crackling birch, to the, to me, this one isn't overpowering. 
but I can still smell it. It's still beautiful. But if you don't love some of these kind of scents and you're like, I can't do crackling birch, you could do this one. But here's the thing. I always think like if you watch my videos and you like, if you like something and you're like, okay, well maybe I'll try that. But if this is not your wheelhouse, oh my gosh, please don't order something that you would totally hate. I would not want that. Um, for me, this is something I absolutely love. I don't think everybody loves woodsy smoky notes, but obviously this is, I named this after like our evenings with my son outside and just, it reminds me of like our, our, uh, summer evenings. So I just, I don't know. That's kind of what I want to name it. Um, so beautiful label too. Thank you, Mary. That is perfect. And it's blue and yellow. I don't know. Did she, Mary, did you totally plan that? Cause that was perfect. Okay. Now, I don't think I ordered the peep show. I don't think she had this on. No, because it's a bag. So this is extra, I think. I don't remember ordering this. So this is Peeps Fruity Rings White Cake. Um, these are cute. They're little bunny butts and bunny ears. Uh, hello. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, it's the bunny face and the bunny feet. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, I like her peeps. Oh, I like that. I have said a million times, I don't like yellow cake. I like the white cake note better. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, the peeps in this is great. Fruity rings. Mm, I don't know. I think that blends really well with the peeps. It just reminds me of a yummy peep and I can definitely get white cake. Some people have really strong white cake blends and I'm all here for it. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. I really love these bags. I didn't see this on the website, so I don't know if she, like, she's doing these for certain times. Her restock is March 25th. She's great on Instagram. She does a ton of reels, which I absolutely love. She's very, the, her Facebook page is very active. Um, this label is killer. I love these shapes. Oh my gosh. The price is great. Okay, so these are the sneak peeks she put in here for me. So these I obviously didn't purchase, okay? All right, oh, I'm so excited, okay. Oh, okay, oh, this is, that's right. Okay, so her launch on the 25th is baseball themed. So check out them. She has, oh, this is one. Um, she has one in there that's like strawberry, raspberry, boom, boom. I'm like, okay, I'm here for that. So this is Clark and Addison. I don't know the reference to that. Um, it's cherry, strawberry, raspberry, pop rocks, lemon, lime soda. Okay, well, I'm all for that. I, oh, oh, this is good. Ooh. Oh, I love, this is very much like lemon, lime, ginger ale. Oh, that strawberry, raspberry. Oh. Cherry is not, like, I don't love cherry unless it's like a black cherry. I definitely get the strawberry raspberry. Mm, cherry, maybe, yeah, like a black cherry is there. But it's so good on that lemon lime soda, like ginger ale, very, like, effervescent. Oh, that's really, really good. Again, look at the label. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's baseball. My boys used to play baseball. I'm sad that they don't now. Okay, this is Stormy Seas. Well, I can relate to that. This is Sea Air, Himalayan Salt, and Driftwood. Okay, that sounds beautiful. Oh, it really does smell like salt. Oh, this smells like a spa. Like when you go to your, like a really nice spa in town and you get your massage and they've got like a diffuser or a bubbler something on. Oh, my spa has like this massive wall like fountain. This is kind of what it smells like. Oh my gosh. Okay, this just takes me back to the spa. So that is gorgeous. <laughs> Stormy sea as well. I'm just gonna tell you, it reminds me of the spa. Okay, bricks and ivy. This is morning dew, forest, fern, fresh cut grass. Yes, I love grass scents. Thank you, Mary. Oh, hello grass. <laughs> like I just mowed you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so strong on the grass. Okay. So when I mow my, we have almost five acres. And on Saturdays, I will mow. Um, 
I always mow. My husband's not allowed to mow my front yard because I absolutely love our rider tractors. They're John Deere. Yes, I'm so cool. I love my John Deere. I love love mowing the lawn absolutely love it so like that's a huge joy for me andrew and i would he would cry a lot and i know don't come at me for like oh you mowed the lawn with your kid yep i did never did it before in my life but when he would cry because of his seizures and he was very stimulated for some odd reason one day i had to move the tractor and he didn't cry when i had i had him in my carry my like moby wrap and he didn't cry and i thought how is he not crying when this thing is so dang loud Okay, well, he didn't cry during that. So on a rare occasion that he wouldn't stop crying, I would do small sections of the lawn to get him to fall asleep. And then I would just turn off the mower and I would ride with him on the tractor. And then I would put my, we have a train car that it's three or four cars. It's right over there. I would put the train car on and then I would continue to ride with him and the other kids without the mower on, right? This reminds me of when I get into our deeper part of our for, like orchard here there's a lot of um like overgrown like we have blackberries back there i always think a bear is going to come at me because we have so many blackberries that are entwined on some of these apple trees and then you get the moss that kind of comes up on the apple tree and when i'm mowing over there you kind of got to duck sometimes because there's like craziness going around <laughs> long story about the scent this reminds me of mowing in that area because it's very green you get like all this overgrowth this is what that reminds me of. And I'm not mad at that. If you don't like grass scents or like anything like that, you would not love this. But this again, what a beautiful memory that it brought out in me. So I'm I'm here for this. Love it. Thank you so much, Mary, that you picked some of these scents and look at it does to me. This one is sweet tooth. Yes, I do like sweets. They don't like my stomach. This is bubble gum cotton candy rock candy pop rocks. Look at the label. Look at the color not the same color as my nail but my nails but okay Ooh, this is very sweet definitely the name suits it okay I'm gonna tell you I you know I don't know what pop rocks and rock candy is it's like smells like a sweet candy um definitely get the cotton candy in this the bubble gum it's not it's like a chewy gum it's not like powdery like the powder on the gum it's like a chewy original gum that you've got in your mouth and you're starting to chew on it it's not the powdery and then i definitely get the cotton candy rock candy pop rocks must just it's really it literally smells like it, you're sucking on sweet candy so i'm gonna say like a strawberry candy oh my this is very sweet. Now my hands are going to smell like wax or like the scent. I, I like this. I really do. Interesting that the bubble gum doesn't overpower everything. I definitely get more of like the strawberry or I don't know. It says rock candy pop rock. So I'd like to know like if that has a breakdown. But this is good. And I like the fact that the bubble gum is not like the powdery white like covering of bazooka it's more like when you start chewing the gum and it's that original bazooka gum in your mouth but the powder is gone so i i love this and here's the thing if i warm this in my bedroom bath and i don't love it i usually start with two cubes when i'm testing a scent so i can test how it throws for me if two cubes don't throw then i go up to three but typically in that space with my Accord warmer, I only put one in there and then I have a two in one hot plate in my bathroom. If I'm gonna test a scent, I start with the two, one in my bathroom, one in my three in one, and I turn off the other hot plates. If that doesn't work for throw, then I throw in a third cube. If that doesn't work, then I'm like, okay, this is not a strong performer even in that space. But what I usually do is start with two. And if I don't love this, then I will say to my kids, like, who wants this? And I give one of my kids the scent and they use it. And I don't share that with you guys because they throw their stuff away. Like, they don't give it to me and say, hey, mom, I finished this. Um, so, and a lot of times when, they, like, when they use some of this and they get to the last two cubes and they throw it in their scentsy warmer, like my daughter, she'll pour the wax in here because and then she will harden it and then she will play with the little cubes 
after all the scent is gone. So I don't generally ask her or the boys to give it back to me because they kind of make it into a, like a fun little game and they use the wax and play with it, whatever. So I don't generally ask for that, but that's kind of how I go about scents. If I don't love them, then I will just, I'll say to my kids after I test too, like who wants the scent? So um, Mary, thank you so much for that, sending me those extra items. Um, again, she has a restock on the 25th, but I will tell you that I've been on her uh her website and she always has stuff there and then like I said she does have customs and I I I will put if I edit this video <laughs> if I do I will put that here or I will add it in the description um, you can click on that and I will put the price of the items I bought and then her restock is the 25th I will include the website and um, the cost of customs and what shape she has. So just give me a little time if this is uploading and I'm I'm going out tonight for wine night, wine and bingo night. So we haven't done it for a couple months, but normally there is a group of us, uh, there's a total of four of us that meet and we've done it for the last two years. Yes, even during the last two years. Um, and it's honestly, we know the business owners and it is truly to help keep them afloat. And I literally have one drink because I'm just like the lightest weight ever. But um, we go and we get food and stuff like that. And, um, and now that they've gotten more people, again, they're doing their extreme bingo. And I honestly, I'm, I usually win every time. It's music bingo, right? So it's like they play the music from the 90s or country and then, you know, whatever. I usually win. So I do have a free drink to redeem tonight. And we haven't gone in the last couple months because one of the girls moved to Florida. Well, she's back visiting. So we're all meeting tonight. So I'm going to upload this video. And if I don't get to that part of the description box, just give me some grace because I'm going to go and have some much needed adult time. And I, it's honestly, it's a great therapy session for us for just to talk about things in our life and the world and just talk about things I'm not going to share with you here. So I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I am going to continue to be who I am and I just want you to know that I do this for fun for, honestly, I hope it's helpful to you. I, I want to say that I truly, truly appreciate all the kindness. I appreciate the comments, the interaction. Do you know how hard it is some days when you're having a hard day and you feel alone and like, I just truly am so blessed and so honored that so many people are so kind and they're always like leaving me nice comments and asking me fun questions. Um, I truly appreciate it so much. I just, I love it. I love the community, the kindness. Um, and I'm just going to keep promoting that and, uh, the other stuff I'm just going to let go away and be noise in the background because I'm just choosing not to allow that into my everyday life. I just cannot do it. Um, I just can't. There's a lot of things in my life, um, with my son's birthday on the 9th and then March 19th, um, my son was 10 days old when I almost died and so my friends and I call it my death anniversary which is March 19th. So for me um that's a another tough day because I ended up there was a lot of bad things that happened and I have a lot of PTSD to this day and as a nurse you'd think oh that's how can you have PTSD? Well, I do a lot. So um, I do very well, I think, in my life, but I do struggle. So I'm just saying March is a tough month for me and I'm just going to choose not to be around negativity. I don't want any part of it. I don't, I don't want any of that in my life. I can only handle the things I can handle. I can't control anybody else's behavior or action. What I can control is me. So for me, I'm going to choose to be kindness and light and I hope that you do the same. And I want to say I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.